still have a 90 mother walk down the street and said, Suge Knight killed Tupac. <laughs> when everybody know off the top, I ain't the Have a 90 year old mother walk down the street and say, Sue Knight Tupac, when everybody knows off the top, I ain't the Tupac. I'm protected to Tupac, yeah. But at the same time, Puffy can give him a mother star and every rat in the world say, he didn't want K Tupac. I had him shot, you get what I mean, is Diddy at a level of being untouchable, where he's protected, or is Diddy a target that D eventually put all the blame on him and make sure they get away with it free, he's definitely going to be black mother, the back you got, you got to realize. One thing that boy life is dangerous, his life is he's just not dangerous with his doing, but he's in danger. He know too much. One thing you got to realize is you, he probably having a conversation right now with the hops and everyone else to figure out is going to work his, it's a dreadful day for hip hop and black culture since everyone is talking about the Puffy scenario. While there is nothing to be happy about, I will tell you what, Puffy, your life is in danger because you know the secrets. I turn myself in sometimes, you have to face the music most of the time, and I'm going to give you some serious counsel. Who's involved in that little hidden room you guys are engaged in? So you know they're going to get you, if they can two brief remarks when you get to prison. You have to decide whether to piss standing up or squatting while sitting down. My advice is to try to pick the first one, since if you squat, you'll know what it means. Oh, and by the way, brother love is not a suitable code word for prison, so don't spend your time there. I'm out Sue tonight and Diddy have quite a history between them with Keith D bringing up Diddy's name in the case of Tupac's death. Things are only getting more interesting. There have been tons of rumors about who was really behind Tupac's death, and it seems we are starting. To get the answers, we've all been waiting for someone who has been pretty quiet recently is Sue Knight. And if he starts talking, talking, things could start heating up. Knight has been speaking out from prison during all the Diddy controversy, and it seems he's starting to talk again. We'll break everything down for you because it seems like Diddy might be joining Sue tonight in jail after all. And if he does, it probably won't be so good for Diddy. They wouldn't get, they wouldn't let them know what they were doing, but it seemed like that something might happen before Labor Day. Wow, before Labor Day, yeah. They working hard on this. Bro, they working hard. I'm not here to praise Diddy. No, I'm not like Brutus told the Senate. I'm here to bury him. He did enough wrong for people around us. Two people around us. But let's get straight into it. Recent headlines have been dominated by drama and controversy. As EMB battled music mogul Shaw Diddy's name repeatedly appears in court documents pertaining to the 1996 drive by shooting death of late rapper Tupac Shocker. The documents are part of a case against Dwayne Davis, who is charged with orchestrating the shooting. Davis had previously claimed that Diddy offered $1 million to have Tupac killed. However, Diddy remains not a suspect in the rapper's murder back in 2009. Davis, who was accused of masterminding the drive-by shooting of Tupac, had an interview with the Las Vegas police during the interview he suggested that Diddy paid a high-level drug dealer, Eric Von Martin, a million dollars to assassinate Tupac. You know, there was the, the rumor that after Pac got killed, a eh? Puffy gave Zip a million dollars that was supposed to be handed over and Zip ended up keeping it. And I remember when I interviewed TK Kirkland, who was actually roommates with Zip at one point, they were that close. He actually said, yeah, the F said that too. He said that actually happened well the story that it circulated was that after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money I heard to, to Zip, yes, and Zip was supposed to give the money to Diki in there, yes, but he never gave the money to, but thank God he never gave him the money, right, think about it, we gave the money, Puffy will be in prison, now money for hire a murder. These remarks made by for hire were recently mentioned in a motion to deny Davis bail following his apprehension in September of last year on suspicion of first-degree murder. Surprisingly, the documents filed named Diddy 77 times, most likely as a result of Davis's persistent claims that Diddy was also involved in the late rapper's murder. However, what would ultimately lead to Diddy being hit for Tupac's murder was revealed in a transcript that was included in the nearly 180-page long documents. Davis told the authorities that Diddy might have wanted Tupac killed because, in the transcript, he offered to pay for the shooting in order to exact revenge on Suge Knight, the record executive turned convict who had previously founded Death Row Records. The label Tupac was signed to during the latter part of his career. Knight was also in the car with Tupac during the drive-by. The rivalry between the East Coast and West Coast hip-hop scenes in the 1990s was fierce. 
This feud was not just about music. It was deeply personal and often violent, with both sides experiencing threats and attacks. That was that there was a weird time that the East Coast versus West Coast was very weird. Yeah, it was, I mean, you know, people equated to Tupac. You mean, and be bad boy in death row. But it was actually bubbling before that it was to me an industry thing in a way like New York had the throne for so long. And here go well at least a decade more. And here comes these West Coast. Rappers, you know, kind of taking attention away the industry people. It started to bubble up with them that, yo, we're doing real hip hop. They're just doing gangster records, you know. And so that started to, to kind of get into the artist. Do you know what I mean? That 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 sentiment started to poison the artist. And an artist named Tim Dog did a song called Compton, like out of nowhere. Nobody really rebutted him. Like, you know, they kind of let it slide. And then more and more artists start taking shots here and there. And then the thing with Bad Boy and Death Row, it kind of just took it over the top. It just made it because they were the hottest. Labels, you have the hottest label on. The East Coast battling with the hottest label on the West Coast. So that made that undercurrent of animosity that was growing blow all the way up and look like it was a feud. And that all led to the shooting of Tupac, which we are focusing on today. The alleged perpetrator is Keith D., who had an interesting court situation recently during the proceedings. Davis lashed out at the prosecution and former LAP detective Greg Kading regarding new evidence, including a tape confession of his involvement in Tupac's death. Davis claimed the evidence was kept in CAD's possession for over a decade, affecting its credibility and making it inadmissible in of course, he also accused Kading of writing a book about engaging in criminality and involving his family in the case. They did my daughter first, then my son, and they just did my wife. In the last papers, he said, I got something to say you want to say. Mr. Arnold, and he can say he represents you, so ultimately represent yourself. You can talk it well. Mr. had them boxers at his house for 15 years in his attic, doing all kind of TV interviews that them boxers should not be allowed and should not be allowed to evidence everything a man he broke a he broke an a profer agreement and he broke the law all kind of stuff he boxes should not be allowed i've been at his house for 15 years and he do interviews going in the boxes let me see here you can see it on any internet site that this man been going in them boxes for years and he's in a he's in a you go and a judge federal judge and did a 142 page thing about him look it up on the internet so i think what the state said ultimately is that they don't think there's going to be anything in those boxes that they're going to use. They just use something in the boxes. They just use something in the boxes from 1996, and they know what they did. Yeah, certainly, certainly we are. They're not only ugly on the outside, but they on the inside. They, they, they crashing my family in this. They did my daughter first, did my son, then they just did my wife to laugh. The, oh, what's her name told me about? The David Westbrook told me about these dudes. He said, they're not only only ugly on the outside, but they ugly on the inside, too. These two dudes right here. Judge Kearney informed Davis that he has yet to decide which evidence will be admissible at trial and suggested Davis lawyer file a motion. Regarding the prefer agreement at this point, there is nothing before me to exclude any sort of evidence, Kearney told Davis and his counsel. And you might be wondering who Greg Caden is. He's the detective who investigated Tupac's murder. Caden, a former LAPD detective, has been instrumental in the investigations of 